Sonic the Hoo Hog What's a Mix? Holy crap, I'm playing a Sonic game. Before I get started, I am not an agent of Sega. I am not an employee of Sega. I am an independent contractor who has done work for Sega. I do not represent Sega and I do not speak for them. Sega is not involved in nor do they endorse or approve any action I take or opinion that I express unless it's part of an official statement released directly through their publicity channels. I present this video as an individual and as a fan of Sonic. With that out of the way, I know a lot of my existing fans want to see some Sonic stuff, so I thought I'd have a look at a fan thing that came up recently. Now, I should say that I can play it and I can talk about what I see, but because I was contracted to work on Sonic Mania for Sega, I won't be getting into technical or developmental details for that game in any of my own videos. In this case, the focus is on my playthrough and impressions of the mod Sonic Mega Mix Mania. It's pretty cool that people care so much about not one, but two things they helped create. One is a fan and one is a contracted developer. Sonic Mega Mix was a big project and something I was very proud of. I'll save most details for another video, but the first thing I do want to mention is that I didn't do it by myself. Over the course of several years, I led a team of some really talented people that helped make it what it is now. Since there was a release trailer with the mod, I'll drop a little trivia on you about an older video of mine that it was referencing. The trailer starts with a heartbeat and some quick flashes of gameplay. This is the same as the video I uploaded that used to be called Never Cancelled. The heartbeat from that video was actually something that was already in the game data. It was used in a nice SMPS version of Sonic Advance 3's Chaos Angel made by, uh, let me try to pronounce this, Sinosa? For use in a boss attack arena that we had planned. I don't know where the original sample came from, but he offered to send me a high quality version after I showed him the video. Personally, I thought it was more fitting to use it as it would be heard in game. Aside from that song, newer builds also used it during Shadow's Chaos Control. I wanted to record a one-shot first-time playthrough of the mod, and I did, but there were so many problems with the resulting video that I had to trash it. So here goes round two. One of the first things I noticed was the title screen using a random character. That's something we had thought of for the original Mega Mix, but I don't remember really talking about it. I have a vague memory of posting a picture of the Knuckles one, but I couldn't find it on my Tumblr or the last three Mega Mix threads on Sonic Retro. Next up after pressing start is the level select menu. Looks like there's three zones so far, and I like how they worked in the scrolling banner from the loading screen. The background music from here was also used in Megamix for the preferences screen. It's originally from a game called Chel Kyukai Miracle 9, a Japan-only baseball game for the Mega Drive. Sounds like they remixed it here. So the first thing I'll do is play through all five levels of Sonic, then I'll go back and have a look at how the other characters work, and anything I may have forgotten to mention on the way through. And here comes the live part. So to start off with, I noticed the uh, graphics. They look uh, slightly more detailed. There's a bit more detail in the um, background stuff there and on the grass. Uh, one thing about it, though, is that I think that there's not enough uh, contrast between the uh, two different colored checkers. They kind of blend together and makes it look a little flatter to me. Now, this music, this music was uh, made by DM Ashura. Not this uh, version of it in particular, this is a remix. But uh, what interests me about it is that um, the, the older graphics are used here instead of the, the newer design for Sunny Shores, while the new song is used instead of the uh, old FM song. So, I see this one's like a straight copy out of Mega Mix. But, uh, as far as the uh, CD and FM music were supposed to go, the uh, CD music was supposed to be reserved for the newer levels, uh, the newer versions of the levels, while the older versions of the levels would use the FM music. 
it's sort of a more recent uh, decision after some of the other levels were starting to get some redesigns, but that's how it ended up. So I've already been playing with Sonic's homing attack, and it feels pretty good. It's um, it's missing the uh, it's missing the image trail, which kind of makes it look a little slower somehow. I think, but I checked it out against the original, and it's it's pretty much the same speed. Feels like it works nice. Now, I have a lightning shield right now, so I can't try the um, light dash. But I do notice that uh, the uh, shield abilities have been traded for the homing attack. Let me see if I can find something to... Okay, if I can get hit by something before I hit it... Okay. There we go. That looks a little jittery, but I assume it's still work in progress. We put a lot of lightning shields here, huh? So my understanding is that uh, th these levels had to be rebuilt from scratch. So this is a pretty good uh, reconstruction here. Not really much wrong. It's showtime. Oh. This song, uh, this song is, uh, straight out of Sonic Mega Mix, and it was made by Wuffle, who, uh, at the time was called Verse. And it's actually, I think, my favorite song in the soundtrack. Now, that homing attack of the boss, that makes it, like, way too easy. We were actually going to not have it target bosses. And uh, I did notice the slowdown when you beat the boss, but uh, is, there's no flash. I don't know um, if you don't know how to add one right now, or if you didn't plan to. This song, this song is a remix of the song that was used in uh, Mega Mix, and uh, originally comes from Columns Three. Sounds pretty nice. Oh, I noticed the use of uh, existing badniks and stuff from uh, Mania. Not bad choices. Seemed to be a little bit of a problem with the homing attack there. I bumped into the box, but I didn't break it. <laughs> it's missing the chain. I don't know why I tried to grab that. or something. Oh, it's right under the item box. Let's see some uh, slightly remixed stuff in the level. Mania like. I know um, 
I know from having actually played this a little earlier, there's a spot just a little bit later in here that's uh, pretty different. Oh, the boat. I don't think I took this route last time. Homing attack might have a little bit too much of a wide range. I haven't actually been using the light dash very much. Whenever I play, uh, where's that bubble? Is it back here? Oh, well, that works too. Whenever I play uh, this in the original, I'm always running out of air at that point there too. He outran me. Ah. so far and I haven't commented about the detail on the bricks I don't think but uh, I like that they look good and this song also uh, also uh, comes straight out of Mega Mix which originally came from uh, columns 3 just like the last one Oh, I didn't see that last time. And it's grayed out, too. I wonder, is it because I don't have 50 rings, or is it just that uh, the special stages aren't uh, accessible right now? I guess I could go back and find out. Nah. They're just not accessible right now. Okay. I wasn't sure because uh, the newer versions of Mega Mix were supposed to have it so that once you find the big ring, you still need 50 rings to enter it. Ah, this is the part I mentioned earlier. I've already taken both routes, too. Guess I'll go left.
It's interesting to play a vert. Oh. I'm not gonna make it, am I? Mm. Checkpoint. Huh. Uh, as I was saying, it's interesting to play a version that's been changed up Mania like. I didn't hit one checkpoint yet. It's got the same thing going on with the background too, where there's water underwater. That was always a pretty weird thing about the original. Okay, I'll go right this time. Barely missed that. Probably won't that. Hmm. Oh, okay, I was supposed to go up anyway. I haven't mentioned it yet, but I did notice the enemies dropping rings. So, how's the little details going? <laughs> if you do, if you do basically what I what just happened to me up there, just right in Sonic Three uh, Hydro City Two, you could skip the boss. Something I noticed going through there is that the uh, light dash doesn't seem to uh, change Sonic's direction uh, depending on which ring he's going to get to next. He just uh, keeps facing wherever he was facing to begin with. Ah! And this part here seems to mirror the uh, boss climb. from all the way over there. Can I get it? Yep, got it. Oh, double boss. Design of the arena is pretty nice. Huh, you can't homing attack this one, huh? Yeah, that's actually what I would go for personally, is not being able to homing attack the bosses. No, 
I don't mind a chance to get uh, extended listen to this song. I don't know if you guys are getting bored with uh, me taking so long. And over there on the side's hints of the next zone. This is another song that was originally written for Mega Mix by uh, by Wuffle, who again uh, at the time was called Verse, and uh, this this is a remixed version of it. Stardust Speedway uh, searchlights seem to fit it pretty well. usually see those coming. Actually, I think just a minute ago that yeah I think I heard the same effect that happens when uh, supersonic uses his uh, uses his dash during flight in the final boss so it must have gone funky with the controls Oh, I see what it is now. Last time I ran straight into it. It's <laughs> and then this is like the same uh, the same song, but it's it's a boss style remix of it. And I've heard I've heard it already, and I think it's pretty great. I like this. I like the idea here too. Playing through with regular level obstacles with metal harassing you. Oh, I think this is the same trap I got stuck in before. Yeah, that sends you in a circle. Oh, I missed the uh, launch.
Oh. That's some nice timing with the music right there. Oh. Okay, this time I'll try not to get myself killed. Look. I absolutely did not mean to do that. Oh, here we go with the homing attack again. Oh! I was trying not to cheese it too much. Rah. Oh! Need to be having a little issue where I hit up sometimes when I don't mean to. Eh, 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 eh. Hey! Yeah. Ooh, in with the cutscene. Well, that was fun to play through. Good thing, too, if I had to do it more than once, huh? I think they did a pretty good job, especially with the resources they had to work with or didn't have. I do wonder, though. I had it in my mind that at some point I might try to rebuild at least part of Mega Mix for PC using HCGE. That might be about to become redundant. Ah, thank you for thinking so much of us. Looks like some avatars for the developers. I know I recognize Gamma. Nice use of the history music from Sonic Mega Collection, too. Now I'll go through the stuff that didn't come up during my Sonic playthrough. First, going back to the light dash. There seems to be a slight glitch where it'll try to reach rings that are below the floor. Also, when I tried to use the keyboard, no key I pressed actually activated it. Something else I noticed was that there's no mid-air spin move. In the original, you could do that by pressing A. Moving on to Tails, the Tail Slash move looks good. It seems to even have the projectile effect. I also noticed the drop from flight. It's a good addition, but regarding an earlier point, it was actually part of the overall mid-air spin mechanic in the original. Knuckles' Mega Punch is neat, but it doesn't really play nice with loops. It seems to take the place of the punch combo I was adding in the newer version. I don't know if that was the intent, but his newest moves also include an uppercut and a drill dive. I like the little jump boost you can get from a glide. Mighty still has the hammer drop. I guess it makes sense, but I didn't really plan on adding it to Mega Mix if it went any farther. The trigger key for using shields without disabling it is a nice touch, though. Similarly to Sonic's Light Dash, I can't seem to get the ability to work on keyboard. Is it intentional that the Insta Shield also triggers the Drop Dash? Is the shield storage and swap mechanic from Mega Mix something planned for later implementation? Finally, Shadow has his double jump, though like Sonic's homing attack, it doesn't trigger an after image. Speaking of which, in the last canon release of Mega Mix, the double jump also becomes a homing attack when you're near enemies or items. He's got his speed boost here too, along with the 5 ring cost and the buzzer when you don't have enough. Activation is a little buggy though, since you can use it in the air, when ducking, and while spin dashing. Overall though, this is a demo, and I think the team has done a pretty good job so far. It delivers on what it promises. Sonic Mega Mix Mania.
right down to the character-colored HUDs you may have noticed in the clips, and even the character-specific jingles that would have been too much for this one video, but trust me, they're there. While I finish up, we're listening to another of my favorite songs from Megamix, Knuckles' ending theme, an SMPS version of a song from an arcade shmup called Viewpoint. I'll take a moment now to share with you something I got a couple of months ago, a nice piece of fan art from Twitter user Squirrelhead. I've been informed that someone else will be sending me another, so I figured I'd start featuring any that I get in my videos. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more. You can also follow me on Twitter at HCStealth. If you'd like to support my game and video projects, please consider becoming a patron. Every dollar gives me more time to produce more content just like this, or better. Now, have a look at some cool people who are already helping out, and enjoy another Mega Mix favorite of mine, Theme of Super Mighty, originally from Chiao Kyu Kai Miracle 9. See ya!